what is up guys and today you already guys know you guys already know what we're playing it's detective pikachu returns one of i feel like the best movies in the entire pokemon franchise so let's get started Whew. i actually did like a three minutes and then it broke my Set up broke on me, so I'm gonna have to go through this again. The name's Pikachu, and I'm what you might call a great detective. Did... He has to drink his coffee, that's his signature. <laughs> coffee! With my bolts of brilliance, I've solved many mysteries. My partner Harry and I ran into some trouble on a case. Harry suddenly disappeared, and I'd lost all my memories. After that, and I was almost the got city ran, when into I ran into Tim. Somehow, he could understand what I was saying. Our goals were one and the same find Detective Harry, because my missing partner just so happened to be Tim's dad. While we were searching for Harry, we uncovered a series of crimes involving R, a chemical that drove Pokemon berserk. Tim and I managed to solve the case and save Rhyme City. And yet... I'm wondering if this is like a... Continuing Harry off the first missing. game? Even I'm thinking now, it. I think it is. The two of us are still searching for him. And now our adventure begins. Harry. Just where the heck did you go? Hmm. Can't wait. And so, to promote an even stronger bond between the people and Pokémon of Rhyme City, I hereby proclaim this day the start of Pokémon Friendship Week. Pokémon Friendship Week. To commemorate Week. this what? event, we present this award to Tim Goodman and Pikachu, who say, "Harry." Pikachu, great detective, known for his mm. bolts of brilliance. Oh. Pikachu, I'm sorry. I guess that's a sign I better wrap this speech up, eh? <laughs> <sighs> Wearing his iconic red hoodie wax. Wow. You couldn't have picked a worse time to doze off. Sorry, sorry. Now then, due to the R incident of two years ago, some of our citizens began to doubt Rhyme City's motto, coexistence with Pokémon. So to those of you who were affected, I offer you my deepest sympathies. Howard Myers, mayor of Rem City. Okay. What's that? Corviknight. A Corviknight? I called it. Ah! Silence. I mean, slices through the oh, sky of ah! metal wings or whatever. Ah! Oh gosh. Sir, follow me. Can we attack? Everyone, oh. get inside right away. That Corvina is very angry. It's got the R stuff. What the heck is going on? It has R, dude. Could it be R? R? Don't think so. Its behavior is different. Well, there's something on its back. It's all right. Just calm down. It's not gonna calm down. See? It has something on its back. Huh? Pikachu. Yeah, lousy Corviknight! It just made off with my signature hat! Ah, uh, my dad gave you that hat. Yeah, we gotta get it back. Obviously. <clears throat> you know how important that hat is to me and Corviknight just flew off with it? What a mess. Let's go get it back. Hmm, what's that? I'm guessing the book right there? Yes. Hey Tim, over here! Oh, I can move! Look, this must be the notebook the mayor dropped. Oh, there's something inside. A family photo? This girl looks familiar. No, oh, she's the one who didn't look too happy during the mayor's speech. That's my classmate, Rachel. She knows a lot about Pokemon. Huh? Whoa, time out. You know her? 
Why am I just now learning this? <clears throat> we should return this notebook to the mayor, to Mayor Myers. Yeah, but first we gotta deal with Corviknight. Corviknight. Right, let's go, Pikachu. Okay, now I can. Hmm. Now what do we do? That's. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. We have a regular site in Ryan City's parks. Uh, it's knocked out. Oh! Is that Peter P unconscious? Does it look unconscious? Yes! No touch it. Moving this Pokemon could injure it. Hey, you big guy, what happened to Peter? Well, I'm at a loss. Nothing we've tried so far is working. Hey, can you even hear me? You cut your. Pikachu's Pika Pika chatter and evacuate the area. <laughs> Pikachu, Will Butler, uh, Chief, uh, I don't know, can hear how healthy you are. What? I need to track down Cormite and get this area evacuated. Why can't just leave this beat up here? Hey, what happened? Calm down, Pikachu. To everyone else, you're just saying Pika Pika. I'm the only one who understands what you're saying. Oh, right. Sorry. Got a little worked up seeing bit of in such bad shape. Okay, Tim. It's on you to ask the big guy what went down. Excuse me, what happened here? Um, oh, you're the young detective. Yes, I'm Tim Goodman. Tim Goodman. Jeez. And this is my partner, Pikachu. Will Butler. Pokemon Production Rear. And this, I don't know, is... With the police department's rescue squad. Uh, they know. I'll spare you the details. Right now we need to help this bit of. All that wind Cor and I whipped up blew it around and knocked it out. I don't know used a move to help it of recover, but it still has a waken woken up. Ah, uh, they know. Chief, no civilian injuries should report at this time. Copy that. Great work. Now I really should get back to leading the evacuation, but I can't just leave the bit of here unconscious. You gotta, you ought to clear out of here too, young detective. Mr. Butler, let us help you take care of Pit of Pit of. That. We'll find a way to wake it up. Yeah, let a couple of great detectives handle this. You? Hmm. This is an emergency situation, one that requires my full attention. Maybe I should let you help. All right, I'll leave waking up this Pit of to you. I'm counting on you. On you, young detective. Yes, sir. Let's go, Pikachu. Okay. Cool. Hmm? Hey, why didn't you talk to the other... Hey, why don't you talk to those other Pidove? Sure, let's give it a shot. Hold on a sec, Tim. Before you talk to those guys, there's something I need to tell you. Yeah, what is it? Cases don't just poop up where it's convenient for us. I don't, I don't gotta tell you that, right? Right. And it's been a good long while since our last case. Well, that's true. So let's hit pause and jog our memories on how we go about investigating a case. We'll do this one by the book, all right? If you say so. Tim, this is our first investigation in a long time. Fortunately, Vito's injuries are already healed. All we gotta do is find a way to wake it up. Some might call it coincidence, but me? I call it an opportunity for a detective work tut tutorial. Perfect, right? I suppose. Let's refresh our memory and make up, make sure we conduct a full investigation. Okay, got it. First, let's quickly go over how we investigate. I talk to Pokemon and I'll talk to people. Together, the two of us will gather evidence and take Testimonies from people in Pokemon and piece them and piece them all together and solve the case Yep, that's how we do it Exactly, okay. This round of questioning is all yours Pikachu sure thing here. I go Hey, Pito, can I talk to you? I'm guessing your pals With that unconscious uh, Pito mind if I ask you a couple questions who it says their friends taking a nap and won't wake up. So I think that's unconscious Pidove is just sleeping? Poo-poo. You really love the 
Smell of what? Huh? What's that gotta do with anything? Cool, cool, cool. Nice, strong aroma makes the sleepy times go away. That's what it's saying? You think these Padov would be more concerned about their unconscious friend instead of chirping about the, some smell? I'm gathering there's... I'm gathering there's a certain aroma that Padov are really into. Guess that's all we got... We gonna get. Maybe we should question those... Some of the other Padov around here. Hmm. Hey, Tim. Come here for a sec. If you get stuck during your investigation and see the light bulb icon in the lower left corner to the screen, you can press the left button to consult Pikachu and get a hint. All right. Hmm. Call me before you go anywhere. Hmm. I'm a little curious about what that Pidov was saying. Yeah, his friends is unconscious, but all it want wanted to do is talk about talk about was an aroma it likes. Yep. Nice strong aroma makes sleepy times go away. That's all I could get out of it. Aroma sleepy times go away? Wait, what if it was talking about using some kind of scent? And what if that scent could wake up its friend? That's it, Tim. If he can find the strong aroma that those videos were chirping about, maybe it'll, it'll wake up their unconscious friend. That's what I'm thinking. It's worth a shot, at least. But how do... Are we gonna going to find a scent like that? There might be a Pokemon who ha who haven't evacuated yet. Maybe we can ask them. Hmm. That reminds me. Listen up, Tim. If we're having trouble during our investigation, you can call me, call out to me anytime. I can give you advice discreetly so no one else notices. Of course, you can also just mull things over on your own. But if you get stuck, it might be a good idea to take a break or retrace your steps. That's important, too. You can press the B button during gameplay to open the sub-menu. If this menu can... In this menu, you can save the game and change your game settings. Press... Uh, you can press ZL... Uh, the ZL button during gameplay to reread recent conversations, older conversations. Eventually disappear. Uh... Older conversations eventually disappear, so be careful not to forget what, what was said. Ah, this is gonna be... Okay, here we go. Okay. Ooh, Magnemite. 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 Levitates using electromagnetism. A little jolt from Magnemite. Here might be just what Pluto needs to wake up. Yeah, but... Yeah, you can't use your moves, so... You'd ask to... You have to ask Magnemite to do the jolting for you? Let's not go there. You... <clears throat> uh, you know what? I'd use my own moves if I could. Mag? Oh, I'll tell you what the problem is. You've got a pre dove that won't wake up. I was thinking one of your electric type moves could jolt it awake. Though probably one at least only as a last resort. Mag, Mag. Oh, you'd be willing to help us out? Thanks. If... All else fails, we'll hit it. You up for an electrifying assist. Mac. Oh, there's a Sphero. You should, uh, Sphero. There's a Sphero up there. Wait, there's a Sphero down here. It's like the Spheros are, all, are kind of all over the place. Not to. Uh -oh. Not to. Stares into the great beyond. That's not to. Uh, I can never tell what it's staring at or what it might be thinking, but that's the sort of Pokemon who probably got all kinds of incredible knowledge. I don't know about that, but let's try asking it if it knows anything about how to wake up Pete of. Way ahead of you. Hey, not to. Can you hear me? Hey! not saying anything. I wonder what's wrong. To... Oh, it wants peace and quiet while it's sunbathing? It's awfully calm giving all the commotion going on. Hmm, maybe we should try asking someone else. So that's not gonna work. Please be careful. Oh, we got tons of them. Oh, it's gotta be you. It's gotta be. Aroma teas. Excuse an enchanting aroma. Gotta be, because there's Pete of. 
aroma? You're aromatisse, aren't you? What are these P-Dubs surrounding you for? Aroma. Huh, there's... They started flocking to you as soon as it got here? As soon as you got here or whatever? These P-Dubs have been following aromatisse around? Cool, cool. You're asking it to make the nice aroma? Cool, cool. Hurry up, make the, the nice aroma. 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 The p are really getting on its nerves. Seems like these p are all drawn to the scent that Aromatisse emits, which means Aromatisse might be able to help us wake up the unconscious p -dove. Good thinking, Pikachu. Let's ask if Aromatisse is willing to help us out. Um, hey there, Aromatisse. We could use some help. Aroma T? If it'll help us out if you can get those P-Dove to stop following it around. Fair enough, let's talk to the P-Dove. I just hope they understand us. P-Dove, cool. Sorry to ask you, but uh, this, but could you move, you know, somewhere else? Hey, now's not the time to stop and smell the aromas. We're trying to help your friend here. Say, so I guess that pr what pretty soon Aromatisse is going to go make lots of nice aromas right over there. Cool. They're on board with the nice aromas over there plan. So they'll move great. Nailed it. Aromatisse should be willing to help us out now, right? Aroma. I'm happy to lend a hand now that we got those peed up to move. Great, let's take Aromatisse back to the square. Okay, Aromatisse, here's the P-Dove. Please help it. Aroma. Do, 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 do. Aroma. All right. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Glad that worked. Oh, p -Dub's awake. I don't know, I don't know. Wow, Aromatisse's scent is nice, but it's kind of like a really strong perfume. I don't get why the p -Dub like it so much. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Glad you're enjoying it. Aroma. Yep, you are a huge help, Aromatisse. Thanks. Nailed it. First mystery, mystery solved, baby. <laughs> Excellent work, young detective. That perk feed up right up. I didn't even consider getting help from the other Pokemon in the area. Oh yeah, come to think of it, a police officer was calling this big guy chief. I wonder why. How about you ask him and find out? About, about you, Mr. Butler. Yes, I'm Will Butler, chief of the PPB. The PPB? We're an organization dedicated to protecting the Pokemon of Rhyme City. The Pokemon Protection Briere. So it's kind of like the police, but focused on Pokemon? I don't know we had something like that. The Briere only recently started its official operations. At the moment, we're borrowing office space at the Rhyme City Police Station and incorporating with the police. We were dispatched to provide security, but well, just look at what happened. I can't believe a fiasco this big occurred on my watch. It's honestly an embarrassment. About a po about the po Pokemon production, uh, Briere. We were formed two years ago as a response to the infamous R incident, the case you two solved. Back then, Pokemon-related disturbances were happening all over the city. The human and Pokemon residents of Run City were deeply affected by that. Mayor Myers was so shaken up, uh, shaken by what happened, what occurred, he took it upon himself to create the PPAB as a countermeasure. He wanted to make sure crimes involving Pokemon, like the R incident, would never happen again. That's why this organization exists. Isn't keeping the piece of the piece the police? job though in the past few years rhyme city has seen a concerning rise in the number of reported incidents and accidents the police were are struggling to handle so many incidents including those involving pokemon 
But now the police can protect the human population of Rhyme City while the PP protects the Pokemon. PPB, bleh. By pre dividing up the work, we can keep everyone safe. And so that's why the PPB was formed. Just what I'd expect from Rhyme City. Howard. Howard really is looking out for us Pokemon, huh? By the way, young detective, I was watching your investigation earlier and I couldn't help but notice. Were you explaining things to Pikachu? Uh, I don't think Pikachu understands what you're telling him, though. Unless the two of you can. Um, I'm not actually talking to him, it's just stuff like getting advice. No, that's... is not it. It's... oh, I get it. You talk to Pikachu to organize your thoughts. Interesting way to form your de deductions if you ask me. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. Hmm. Well, we do understand each other, actually. Phew, that was close. I thought we'd... He'd... Caught on to us. Be careful. Usually folks don't believe we can talk to one another. That's kind of funny. Okay. Whoa! Ah! Corbinite! Ah! back again. Come on, let's chase it down! I heard Exeggy... I heard Exeggitor. Where? Oh! It's Corviknight again! Hey, give me back my hat, would ya? The chief went after Corviknight in his patrol car. I bet Corviknight still has my hat. Let's follow it. Exegs... App. Those are Pokemon cries. Sounds like they're coming from the dis direction Corviknight flew off in. Let's go check it out. It's Appalin and, and uh, Exeggitor. Oh! Whoa! Pikachu, look! It's, uh, Alolan... Well... How do you like these apples? They're scattered... All over the place. What a mess. Oh, that's an Applin! Applin! Applin lives in an apple. Ah, Are you... Blah. What? App! It's dangerous here, Applin. You should find somewhere that's safe. That's odd. It doesn't seem like it wants to leave. Let's talk to it. Oh, I see another apple in the distance. What happened here? Apple. App, app. So the wooden crate shook you and thrown out, and that's when you realized your friends were missing? You got separated. That's... Then that's... Let's help it find its friends. Good thinking. How many friends were here with you? App. Two? Okay, got it. Okay. Uh, about you, I haven't seen any Apple in, in the city before. Where'd you come from? At back. Oh, you gotta... You go to sleep in a wooden crate and then you wake up. You're always someplace new? The Apple vendor travels to different locations and this Apple and gets carried away. Carried along. The Apple vendor probably doesn't know about this Apple. In. Apple. Something suddenly shook it awake a moment ago. I bet that Corbin that was Corbinite. Same goes for these crates getting toppled over. I don't see the apple vendor. They must have evacuated the area. Okay, now we can. From what Applin said, I think I can get those get what's going on here. But as much as I'd like to go get my hat back from Corbinite, you can't just abandon a Pokemon in need of our help. Yeah, what kind of great detectives would we be if we didn't lend a helping hand to two or two along the way? Okay, we should investigate the fallen apples over there. I'd be happy to if there weren't so a tree in a way. Some about it seems odd to me. Maybe we should investigate that first. It's a stinging Zeggy for dude. Oh, so we can get can investigate because this tree is in the way. What should we do about it? Well, we can't just cut it down. Egg, eggs, eggs. It's executor. This tree's an executor. A lowland form. Baby. Hey. Towering tropical Pokemon. Wait, isn't this an alone executor? I've never seen one before, so I don't. I didn't even realize that. What's 
it doing here in Rhyme City? Why don't we ask and get some other questions in while we're at it? We can't investigate until it moves anyway. Hey, Executor, over here, look down by my- your feet! Egg? Eggs? Eggs? Whoa, don't- I'll talk at once. How about this, Executor? I'll tell you which head should answer. Sounds good? Eggs? 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 Oops, forgot to say which head. Uh, we'll take, uh, um, you mind, uh, mindless head. Um, you mindless head. Why are you here? Eggs. Guess it's been traveling around with the apple vendor. That explains why it's here in Rhyme City. What happened here? Hey. You right head. Uh, tell me what happened here. Eggs. Corn, I came flying around, flying through and... When you tried to dodge it, you bumped into the free stand? I knew it! By the way, have you seen a hat Corbin I took? Mine, eggs. Guess it happened to suddenly for you to tell. Oh well. Hey! Um, left head. We've got a favor to ask. Egg? Sorry, but we want to search through those apples scattered behind you. Um, could you please, uh, scooch it over a bit? Egg. Oh good, it moved for us. Now we can investigate the scene. Well... Mm -hmm. This is where all the apples got scattered around. Let's let the investigating begin. Oh, okay. Hmm. Remember what we're looking for. Uh, the two missing apple in. Um, that's right. There's a lot of apples here, so try not to overlook them. Lame. Look, an apple and I found one. Apple. Have you been sitting still pretending to be an apple this whole time? That must take a lot of pra patience. App, app. Huh. Patience. Patiently staying still in one of your talents? Impressive. That Corbin I got you wrapped up in quite of a mess, though, didn't you? Your friend is waiting for you. Pikachu? Oh, this is a tasty apple. You want some too, Tim? Don't forget to pay for it. You just spend my money, my guy? I feel like it's that one right there. Those are apples. There are apples everywhere. I don't see any apple in. At this point, these apples are only good for making juice or jam or something. I'd still eat them. Uh, eat them. Reese's and all. Wait, what? I don't know what that word said. Examine this. Hmm? It's an apple crate. No sign of apple in though. Hmm. Well, we searched pretty thoroughly. I still don't see my hat or the other apple in though. Hmm, where could it be? Huh, did you see something move behind that crate? What? No, I didn't e notice anything. Try checking again. Maybe something's changed. There's something- oh. My hat! Corvin, I dropped it. Couldn't- Could've sworn it wasn't here earlier. Anyway, I'm just glad to have it back. It's the apple and is in the hat. I'm just saying. <sighs> This was a real pain. The Aplin's yeah. in the hat. Hey, hey, get back here! The heck? Hey, quit playing around. Hey, I'm not playing at all! My hat keeps moving on its own! That's ridiculous, Pikachu. Do you not see? <laughs> it's Aplin! See? Told you so. Executor! Guess I've gotta go get it. Guess so. 
Climb Exeggutor. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Well, Tim, lift me up. Okay. You all right? Don't hurt yourself. Please, this'll be nothing. And then he falls. <laughs> This is gonna be sketchy. Oh. That was scary. We almost lost you, Pikachu. We almost lost you. Okay, fine and dandy. Nice catch, by the way. Oh, we caught him. I was like, bro, are the Applin? Are the Applin okay too? Oh, this, there's a baby one. Yep, they all seem happy to be reunited. Reunited. Good. Glad they're all right. So one of them was wearing my hat, huh? Seeing it move on its own really threw me for a loop. I'm sure Corbin, I dropped the hat mid-flight, and it just happened to fall on top of Applin. Oh yeah. Hey Tim, where's my hat? Don't worry, I've got it. All right, at the end of the day, I'm just glad I didn't lose my hat. There you have it. Yeesh, that was a hassle. Uh, <laughs> uh, now that's more like it. Yeah, you look like yourself again. Thanks, Tim. Harry gave me this hat to commemorate our partnership. The award ceremony will resume shortly. We ask that all participants please return to the venue at this time. Uh, I guess we better hurry back. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Of a night. I'll let it off the hook just this once. You mean five times? <laughs> Promise he's not gonna be. Great easy. work. Thank you. You're welcome. And There's something you as on like well, Cormanite's back, though. Yep. I can't say it enough. Rhyme City owes you a debt of gratitude for your efforts. We strive for coexistence between people and Pokemon in our fair city. Are you sure about that? And you two are the ideal detective duo. That's why I need to fire you. On behalf you. of the city, I am pleased to present you with this medal. Thank you, Mayor Myers. I'm honored. Of course you get one too, Pikachu. Yeah, I'm the great detective. Pika Pika to you too, little hero. Both of you, keep up the great work. Way to go, Tim! Congratulations, Han. Did it. Well, nice first case. But I feel like there's something wrong with that Corviknight. Later that evening, at Tim's apartment. Tim, I was so proud of you today. Uh, Irene uh, Goodman, Tim's mother. You're amazing, Tim. Sophia uh, Goodman, Tim's little sister. You think so? Everyone knows all about the amazing work you two have done. There was the Eevee abduction case, the fossil stealing spree, and the Rhine Tower standoff case, too. Oh, with me, too, yeah. They even made a movie based on the R case. <laughs> Detective yeah, Pikachu. Yeah, I movie. thought that movie was pretty good, but how come Mom and me didn't even show up in it? That's I have true. no idea, but movies usually do their own thing, don't they? Yeah, I guess. Oh, by the way, I've been meaning to ask you something. This is Dad's Pikachu, right? Yeah. He's my partner at the moment, though. I see. Whoa, whoa. 
What's with all the staring? He saved your dad from trouble many times. Wow! Oh, Pikachu. The news is about to start. Maybe there's an update on that Corviknight. Yeah. I promise you she's gonna catch on. Um, I think I'm actually gonna check the T. We're gonna leave it off here, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. 